This guy, we're gonna run a live white bass. Let me get one of them weights, John. Live white bass, guys. Live white bass. Hey, right there. Reel down on that. There's a fish. Oh, yeah. Reel, reel. All right, get him up, get him up. Well, good afternoon, y'all. Feast bros, feast girls. We are headed to do some fishing for eater size catfish, dink catfish, whatever. If you watched the last video, we went for big boys. We got broken off once and taken to a rock pile on the other time and then caught two dinks. So, oh, also I lost a bunch of stripers on top water. So the last trip chasing big fish was a bust and was really difficult. So my cousin John and I, who's holding the camera right now, you've seen him on the, the show before. Um, we are going down to Watts Bar to do some drifting for just, you know, whatever kind of catfish we catch. We've got skipjack and the cooler, some white bass, and we've got some white bass in the bait tank or the bait bucket um, to use as live bait. And we're just gonna vertical drift down the channel. So I'm not anticipating any giant fish. I think we'll have a good time and catch a bunch of fish. But, uh, you know, whenever I feel like this is when we hook up with a giant. So we're just gonna go do our thing, have a good time. The storm has rolled out and uh, it's not 100 degrees, it's only 86 right now. So uh, a little bit better than the past week and uh, we've got a lot of good bait and I'm excited to get her done and catch some fish. So stay tuned and uh, enjoy this episode of Top Knox Fishing. We are down here in beautiful Kingston, Tennessee, and my cousin John is holding the boat. It's a little bit windy on this side of the river, so we're gonna shoot around on that side of the river and start our drifting down the channel because we don't want to be fishing all this wind right now. Do we, John? No. Nope. Yeah, I wouldn't really call Kingston beautiful. Well, it's pretty right here, other than the billowing steam stacks over there at the coal fire plant. We got some uh live white bass and then we got some skipjack baby oh yeah oh yeah we got the big cat fever rods okuma reels and we about to put the smack down on some dink catfish baby hopefully a big one but i don't care i just want to catch some fish Yeah, we getting a beta cutting. The rods are about to get rigged up and we gonna drop them straight down underneath the boat. We in the middle of the river channel, right down here. You can see, and I'm just gonna take us on this ledge right down here. And then we're gonna start hitting the mouth of these creeks as we come down. We're trying to pick up the catfish that moved off the spawn or are moving onto it. And we're just out here in the main channel drifting in the current. This is a good way to pick up a lot of numbers of fish this time of the year and a few big fish, we'll see. cut skip here running eight ounces of weight just to keep them straight underneath the boat because there is decent flow out here we just got some mean wind that we're picking up out of this cove and we're just dropping them down to the bottom nice and slow so our weight and sinker and bait don't get snagged i said weight twice but in a different way but there's the bottom we're just gonna reel down now it's three feet off the bottom check that drag running decently heavy drag and then we put it down there she is this guy we're gonna run a live white bass let me get one of them weights john you having fun there with all the weights in your pocket let me get an eight this is a ten 
There we go, that's an eight. You wanna hand me a white bass out of there? Nah, crap. There he is. You getting him? Or is he getting you? Live white bass, guys. Live white bass. We're gonna take him, we're gonna hook him right there. Mean. These guys will just thump, 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 thump. We want a big flathead or a blue to eat this dude. Look at him, he's swimming the rod all over the place. Go crackhead mode. All right, we're gonna drop him down. Drop him down and put him in the danger zone. All right, so we got the white bass right there. John's made us a pirate double bait. Him and Brian are convinced that it makes the flatheads bite. I'm not so sure yet. We'll see. I'm not convinced. It just gives you something to do. Maybe. Hey, right there. Reel down on that. Oh, it came off. Came off. Played too long, John. You played too long. Trying to get the Alright, we're going to drop down this guy live. That rod already had a hit. That was a double bait. I just dropped down. Big old white bass going down. Really anything can come up and eat this. Catfish, blue or flathead, a striper would maybe eat it, I don't know. Chanel catfish by Real Paris. Who knows? He ain't happy though. He going nuts. So I'm gonna take a second here and show you the tackle I'm using. We got a Hellcat rod right there. Turn that guy around. Akuma Komodo reels. This is a Shimano I've got on this one. Um, Shimano just has the bait clicker on it, but most of my reels are these Komodos right here. I have two of these that a friend gave me. They're good reels too, for sure. I've just had more experience with the Akumas. And what we're doing, we've got eight to 10 ounces of weight Carolina rig with sinker slide. Uh, we like heavier weight when we're drifting because it'll keep it straight underneath the boat even when you're, uh, you got flow. If you don't have enough weight, you're baits will come up in the water column from the flow going like that so we just got a uh, um, heavier weight and then we got us a nine knot to ten knot circle hook we got double rigs we got singles just depending on what kind of bait we dropping down 100 pound leader big barrel swivel that's 250 pound that's a saltwater one i just go big on it. i buy them on ebay and we just drop them down nice and slow to the bottom once she hits the bottom, we click it over, engage your reel, reel it up a crank or two, and uh, put her in the rod holder. You want to keep that bait like two to three feet off the bottom. That's the strike zone most of the time. So now there's about three feet. Check that drag. We got it pretty tight. That's all right. I'm going to turn the clicker on. I like to turn the clicker on because if I ain't paying attention, one hits it and pulls drag, we hear it. Now you just set it in the rod holder and wait. So they'll either, either bury it down to the water, if they hit it and come up in the water column, it'll just go slack and the rod will go straight and you just gotta reel up to them. And uh, that's how that works. I'm gonna drop one of my favorite baits of all down on this. That fresh skipjack head, look at the colors on that guy. Blood's dripping, it's kinda gruesome, but catfishing ain't a pretty boy sport. We got them hooked up like that. We'll drop them down to the depths. See if we can get us hooked up with the toad. I don't even really care, honestly. I just want to catch some fish. But that's what we do, and we're going to go up and, up and down these channel edges trying to pick up these active fish. I was out bass fishing this area the other day with my cousin, a little bit downstream where we'll go later. There's lots and lots of bait everywhere. So that's a good sign. That's kind of why we're in this area of the lake. We got lots of bait. Should be some cats around here. Good depth, good flow. That's what I like to see. In the money. You can see this hard red return right here. That's our weights going up and down. I kind of angled the boat a little bit different way so the transducers therefore angled when I walked over here because my boat's small, but that's our weights. That's the depth it's at. That's a pirate's favorite fish. What's that, John? A gar. 
Nice. Cheers. Taking the Mamba mentality by body armor. <laughs> Where the fish at? There you go. Go get that fish. Right there, John. See if he's on it. He may have put it down. I think he put it down. No, I think he put it down. Just pull the line a little bit. See if there's any resistance. No. No, I put it down. That's where you camp and hit it, though. Yep, there we go. Yeah, reel on it. Reel, 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 reel. Got him. Get up out of there. Yeah, buddy. Get out of there. Yeah, fish on. Is he pulling? Did you get it? Reel, 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 reel. What'd you do? He's gone, but what'd you do wrong there? You know what you did wrong. What'd you do? You let it have slack. Hook gone. That's what happened. Hey, you got snagged on the other one. Well, John's playing with the bait. And he's learned his lesson on letting the rod go slack when you're trying to hook a fish. You don't do it. But he got to learn somehow. A little heartbreak's the best way to do it. That's a fish on that. Put it down. Huh. See how he hit it and it came up? Yeah. Yep. He hit it and came up in the water column. swimming with it. Wait for it. Let's see what happens. Well, now what's he doing with it? Oh. What was that? I have him. No way. So John's throwing this spoon and he hooked a striper just a second ago, <laughs> surprisingly, and it started peeling line and tried to wrap all of our stuff up and then it came undone. Did I tighten the drag a bit? No, you just break it off. So he's just gonna keep throwing that while we're drifting. We've missed like five fish drifting and uh, the bite's pretty dead right now. happened there nope don't touch it that's a fish wait for it wait for it i don't know if he's on it or not still wait for it i don't know if he's still on it or not you felt it get hit again I don't, I don't know. I'm not convinced they're still on it. If you let it back Weird. Down. I mean, it's you didn't reel any up. It's still there. Well, maybe he is on it. Yep, get it up out of there. Don't let it go slack. Okay. All right, now turn your clicker off. There we go. John is hooked up finally. Ease him up. Ease him up. There you go. There you go. This guy ate a skipjack head. Where's he at? Ease him up. There you go. There we go. Blue cat. Blue cat, baby. Alrighty. He ate a head bait. Alright. It would start biting close to when we have to leave. Need the rod? Walk that line over there. He a lasso. Look right here. Let, let it go. Let it go. Get your fish in. You 
You got them? Free package with the handle. <laughs> All right, go get your fish. He's not on it. He put it down. John, get him a blue cat. You gonna hold your fish up or let him beat you to death? <laughs> there we go. Yeah, lighting's the other way. Turn around. All right, now let's see it. There we go. Pretty blue cat right at dusk. All righty, drop him back. There we go. There's a fish. Oh, yeah. Real, real. All right, get him up, get him up. Got him? Yep. Good fish. Oh, that's a big one. Easy. Easy, John's hooked up, baby, right at dust. Sun's a setting, the colors are jumping. He's got a big catfish on. There we go. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. All right. Oh, baby. There we go. Another one. Let's see that fish, John. Oh, there we go. Beautiful blue cat. Tell me anything is prettier than that sunset right there. And a nice fish on the line. All right, release him. Nope. Majestic. That's a fish, I think. I could be wrong. Yeah. All right, guys, you see that fish up there? I'm gonna go catch him real quick. Got him. The hook has been set. Oh. There we go. On the head bait. He creamed it. Got me a fish finally. Oh, this is a decent fish. Decent fish. And a big head bait. John just caught after he caught his fish. And I lowered it back down. We're just trying to get our lines back out. We're getting this an activity period right at dark. You can see the sunset over there. It's just beautiful. Down. Beautiful sunset. We're not paying attention to that right now. Yeah, we're getting us a fish in. We're trying to. I'm just easing them up slow out of this deep water because I, I want them to burp so we can go back down. See, we, we may hook up with another one here shortly. Burping. Oh. Whoa. Whoa. You killed some line. This may be a decent fish. What we got here? What we got here? He was just kind of fooling with it for a while. Trying to control his trolling motor too at the same time. So we don't take me into the take me into the trolling motor. Yeah. Oh, good flathead, baby. There we go. I thought he bit like a flathead. That's what we wanted. Okay. Nice. Good hook set. Yep. I think I can handle it. Let's see. Viewers, watch and awe as Mark attempts to grab hand grab a flathead. Whoa. 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 Come here, buddy. Looks like he's got a good hook set in him. Grab him by the underside of his jaw. Oh, gosh! So he grabs him by the underside of the jaw. Oh, gosh! Whoa! He just peeled line out of there. He's mad. Man, he decides to fight now? Come here. Quit that. Quit that. Got him. There we go, baby. Mark has landed a monster flathead. Ah, uh, he's pretty big. He's a beautiful fish. I'm happy to have him. Look at that hook down there. Let's get jackhead. That's what he ate. Right there, baby. We just dropped it down 10 seconds ago, too. He had a live white bass sitting right there next to him on that other green rod, right here. And he ate the cut bait. 
because of the way I cut it. Yeah. Doesn't taste as good to me. Whoa, 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 whoa. We are at three catfish. Mark just caught a flathead. I've caught two blue cats. It's head bait back there, huh? Then we're gonna release a flathead. But I'm getting this bait down in the water first. Okay, guys, we're gonna release this pretty, pretty flathead. Look at that. What a pretty fish. Hold them up. Love them. Love them, love them, love them. We're gonna let them go so we can get bigger. That was not graceful at all. I had like planned a cool release thing and no, it didn't happen. All right, let's catch another one. Just had a fish come up off the bottom, a couple of them, and look at our baits right here. You can see them coming up and looking straight at them. What's a fish's favorite candy? I don't know, what is it? Nice. They're so bad. I'm gonna go to federal prison for a second. That's so cringe. Not as bad as Brian's jokes. Yep.